professor here at Tsinghua University School of Architecture and uh, I also do research and uh, design practice. Everybody knows that this economy uh, goes super fast, with consecutive 30 years, 10% uh, increase every year and that's truly uh, exceptional for any standards and it does generate tremendous impact on the urbanization process and I think the major one is because the, when we open the door, when we started the practicing of uh, urbanization, the rest of the world has almost finished. So what we do is we have a lot of models to follow. And this following models without reflection on reality caused a lot of the problems. The city was never designed for cars before, before the uh, I mean, opening door of, the, uh, of China. And suddenly, uh, overnight, we have uh, millions of cars on the street. And uh, our design for the uh, for Beijing, for instance, the grid system, the distance of blocks is not really designed for cars. So that's why uh, now everybody can see that the problems of traffic in Beijing is, is totally a disaster. From the beginning, that the the library was uh, designed to showcase an attitude of how. Uh, a design can be more down to earth, can be more like uh, it's not something uh, up there, can be something really down to earth, can be something really rooted in your culture and in the conditions of, uh, of the place, uh, of the community. And also uh, during the operation, the community get involved into the use of, of, the, of the library. So this is the whole idea of uh, design something small, but somehow with, with a big idea behind it. I think this is make this library uh, attractive to people. This is, it has become kind of a weekend retreat for urban people now. The concept actually is, a, is quite easy because when I visit the village, it's overwhelmed by the texture of the tweaks on the street in the courtyard. And I was thinking maybe this is, if this texture is, is so impressive in relation to the local uh, lifestyle, why not be used in architecture? Because it's so easy to, ex to, to get and so easy to maintain. And that's why the details of design of the tricks is so easily uh, mounted, so people can actually maintain, replace, and substitute the, uh, the, uh, the tricks very easily, just by the farmers. Before this one, I did design another one, uh, the bridge school, probably heard about the bridge school, which is also in this direction that how uh, intervention of an architecture program can somehow rejuvenate uh, existing community, can help the community to become much more healthy in terms of uh, energy, in terms of uh, relationships. So that one is a similar approach, but mm -hmm. designed in terms of form is a much more uh, vanguard, I should say. It's a, it's a steel structure, it's a bridge, and it's a, it's a new type of bridge suspended bridge together with classrooms and performance stages and libraries and so on and so forth. It's, it's, it's a multi-program, multi-functional program. So the idea is that through the multi-functional program so we can generate enough energy for the public space. Modern architecture is, a, is an invention of the West. So we are still learning. It's still on the stage of progressing and uh, mature. So is far away from getting mature yet. So that, I think that's the reason uh, we are far away uh, to that stage. And also it's very difficult for, because too many constraints. The people uh, in the government who set up kind of a lot of constraints, regulations, and your clients, they have different ideas. And also construction teams, there are too many people involved in a bigger project. And when your society is not ready to get those bigger structure uh, made, it's a, I think it's too early to get a mature. I think the dream of every every, every architect is you, you you try to be recognized because you contribute a little bit somewhere, somehow. And uh, it's difficult in China, even though we have big quantities of construction, but somehow because just we, we just mentioned about the uh, the stage of development is not really mature yet. In general public, the really, in you know, architecture needs some kind of a, uh, 
education. It's kind of marinating stage, so people gradually understand what is architecture. Your clients, your government, you know, people who uh, set up standards, also set up policies for architecture, they need to be educated and also progress in terms of understanding what is architecture.